Welcome back to episode 14 of my trip from Alaska down to Antarctica. Today we are here at Lake Tahoe. Uh, we'll be taking off going to the south, following the Sierra Nevada mountains down south, and eventually ending up at uh, Furnace Creek in Death Valley. So it should be a good one today. Uh, like the last few, I think I'll keep, uh, keep doing what I've been doing here, um, and we'll just kind of skip through to the uh, points of interest along the way. So. Yeah, with uh, no further ado, we will get going. Tahoe traffic Cessna 9er 74 Lima Tree 5 is taxiing to runway 18. And I haven't tried the VFR map, but I don't want it to crash, so we'll be in the cockpit uh, for uh, you know, a good part of this, and uh, I'll have the map pulled up on the the right GPS screen there, so we'll be able to follow along. I've actually got quite a few waypoints plugged in, um, take us down the valley, it looks like it's the uh, valley to the, um, uh, the east side of the main mountains here, we'll be passing by Mount Whitney should be pretty scenic, I think. Looking forward to this one. And it also looks like there might be a chance to see some bears, possibly, uh, on takeoff here, so we'll see. One of these days I'll learn to stay on the center line here. runway for us here. And we are off. I uh, I think the bears, at least according to the map, might be right up here. We'll see. I haven't checked it out, so we might not be able to see much of anything, but we will take a look. I had the points of interest turned on. I'm 
trying to climb and get some speed here. valley here. I've got that map on the screen, but this is actually a little bit more difficult to do without the uh, the big VFR map. There. climb quickly enough to get up there, so we're not going to attempt that. Maybe I'll make a turn to the right, kind of circle and climb at the same time. This may be ill-advised, we'll see. We are going way too slow here. This is going to be way too close, but I think we'll make it. Yeah, that was a little closer than I would have liked. See if we can find any bears. Oh, yep. 
there they are. Okay, well, they were down there. They were pretty small, but we did see them back there, so that was good. Okay. Autopilot really, really likes to aggressively climb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? I can't help but think that's my fault somehow, but that just seems... Seems like it could be a little bit more gentle getting into that. I had it set for a 70 knot climb. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm supposed to maybe start autopilot closer to the point that I actually want it to be at in terms of uh, speed. But Give it some more power. That probably didn't help either. having some technical difficulties right now. We'll get the plane under control momentarily. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, this is this going to be another one of those episodes where I have to fly manually the whole way? Maybe. All because I wanted to go see those bears. All right, well, I will figure this out, and we will be back in a bit. All right, I think I've got the autopilot back on track here. So uh, there we are. We are heading off down south here. Uh, should be a pretty nice trip. Um, might be. I'll probably pop back in and out um, with the video here. Uh, should be a lot of nice landscape along the way. Um, Let's see, just looking at the map here, there's a lot of things going on here. Um, not sure if there's anything specific that I will call out until we get to Mount Whitney. But uh, if I see something, I will point it out. So this is a pretty neat view here. Looks like this is called Mono Lake, out to our right. Alright, pretty soon we'll be entering, I think it's called Owens Valley, um, so it should look pretty neat, and that's where we will see quite a few tall mountains, uh, Mount Whitney probably being one of the more well-known. Uh, that should be at about the end of our journey within Owens Valley. Uh, we'll be passing over the towns of Bishop. few others. So. Pretty 
pretty neat landscape out here. Alright, so here we are, Owens Valley, straight ahead of us. Uh, we'll, we'll be going down here probably for the next uh, almost 90 nautical miles or so. Um, at the very end, like I said, uh, we, is Mount Whitney. So, should be neat. I'm going to stay up here at uh, 10,500 feet. Um, when we leave the valley, I'm going to need to be uh, at a pretty high altitude to get over the mountains on the left. Uh, and then after that, we will begin our descent down into Death Valley. It's really, uh, it's crazy how close both the, uh, the highest and lowest points in the lower 48 states are. We'll be passing by Mount Whitney and we'll be near Badwater Basin in Death Valley. Um, I don't know, they're separated by, I'm, I'm guessing, probably 60, 70, 80 nautical miles, uh, the highest and lowest points in the, the lower 48, so pretty neat. We probably won't actually see Badwater Basin itself, the lowest point today, I think that'll be on the next trip, but we, uh, we are headed towards Furnace Creek, the oasis there. Uh, just north of Badwater Basin. Uh, I think it's also where the uh, the National Park Visitor Center is for, uh, for Death Valley. So I'm excited to see that. I, I saw in the latest patch note that there was a fix for negative altitudes, which I did not know there was an issue with negative altitudes, so I'm glad that that patch came out uh, prior to this trip because we will be below sea level by the time we land here. So. Should be, uh, should be exciting. Passing over the town of Bishop down there. Passengers probably getting a better view here than the pilot. So, fun fact Owens Valley here is the deepest valley in the United States, uh, measured from like floor to, to the height of the mountains on the side. honest, I'm not exactly sure which one's Mount Whitney. I would guess it's this peak right here. Uh, it's the tallest of whatever we see out here, so I'm gonna guess it's that at about 14,491 feet, according to the map. We are passing over the town of Lone Pine, and once we pass over the airport, the uh, runway down there, we'll be making a pretty hard left turn and cutting over these mountains uh, into Death Valley. It's a really neat valley. I've been to Death Valley before, but I've not been here to Owens Valley. Um, be neat to come see this.
I think that's one thing I've liked maybe almost most about this trip that I've been taking. I've seen some of the places I've been to, I have not seen others, but uh, it's it's making me want to go see things I, I didn't even know, uh, I didn't even really know about. That's probably Mount Whitney there, but don't quote me on it. Alright, now if I'm reading the map correctly, which has not been 100% this trip, I should be at a high enough altitude here to cut across right where we're headed. It's going to be pretty close, but I think we'll be okay. Then as soon as we get over those, we're going to start descending pretty quick. Because uh, we need to lose over 10,500 feet of altitude here in the span of about 50 nautical miles or so. So if I can't, uh, I don't want to descend too quickly, so uh, I might just have to circle around if we are... Uh, nowhere near the right altitude. So that is the plan, and uh, I will likely be back once we are uh, over Death Valley. So we just made it over those mountaintops I mentioned. It was close, but uh, we did it. But I thought this view was pretty cool, so... Looks like dunes out there, maybe some lava to our left. Sending a little bit here. I've dialed in 7,500. That should be sufficient. Wow, that is really cool. Uh, 7,500 should be enough to get us over the terrain I see off in the distance. May even go down to 6,500. But then it just drops after that to uh, to sea level, or uh, I guess maybe in the thousand foot range. But uh, it'll it'll drop pretty quick once we're over that. So I'll be back uh, probably as we're beginning that descent over there. All right, we are approaching Death Valley here. You can see it off in the distance. As soon as we cross over these hills here, begin our descent. Uh, we'll be going straight in to uh, a little airport called Stovepipe Wells, and then taking a right turn into Furnace Creek. I'll probably do a downwind for runway... Uh, let's see, it looks like runway 33. steeper descent once we are clear of these hills. And once we get past... Eh, once we get past stovepipe wells, I'll probably take it off of autopilot, because the, the path directly between the two airports is actually going to take us kind of over the left side of this hill. And I'm going to want to be probably, I don't know, it, it might get pretty close. So I'll probably manually take us uh, out and around a little bit further. Or at least just take us off of GPS and use the heading. 
you know what, I could probably go ahead and do that now. Change this over to heading mode. So yeah, I think on our next trip we'll probably pass by, I think it's Zabriskie Point, uh, Badwater Basin. Uh, we'll see some Death Valley landmarks next time, uh, south of Furnace Creek. I think for this one we'll probably just, like I said, go on into the airport. Looks like we're getting some turbulence here over the hills. That's really neat down there. With the shadows. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, let's drop altitude a little quicker here. I don't think we're going to have an issue though with being down quick enough. Looks like the airport is at minus 210 feet. Alright, I'll be back when we get a little closer to Furnace Creek. Alright, we're kind of making our final approach here into Furnace Creek. It's about 11 miles out. Uh, I don't quite see it. Yeah, it might be this out here. Yeah, it might be that, but it's not a huge runway, so...
So down there to our right, that's the direction of Badwater Basin, the actual lowest point. I think that's the point I see on my map here that's minus 282. having trouble picking this out. I have to imagine it's that patch right here. Somewhere in there, but I don't see the runway itself yet. You're probably watching this video right now saying it's right there, like I do after I rewatch it, but I know it's there somewhere. should be right next to an oasis. I'm curious to see how that'll be depicted here. It looks like that's the oasis out there. Yeah, I may be misremembering. I thought the runway was pretty close to the oasis, but it, it might not be. Outside air temperature is only 13 degrees Celsius at the moment. Okay, there's the runway right here. Yeah, so we'll do a bit of a messy 45 degree entry into a downwind and then turn base and then final. Not every day you get the 500 call out at 250 feet. Uh, there's the oasis in front of me there. I think there's a golf course.
Live 210. That's pretty cool. Oh, and come into a stop on the runway. Okay. Pro move. I don't remember turning the parking brake on, but apparently that's what I did. We've made it here to Furnace Creek, Death Valley. Uh, it was a lot of fun. That was uh, really neat scenery. It's neat being below sea level here. Um, yeah, looking forward to the next one where we go down to Badwater Basin, uh, go check out the, the lowest point. Um, and uh, yeah, cool. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'm looking forward to the next one.